Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're diving into the highly anticipated new releases that are sure to have you glued to your screens throughout September 2023. From gripping dramas to hilarious comedies, we've curated a list of the top 10 TV shows that you absolutely cannot miss. So without further ado, here's the top 10 TV series coming in September 2023. Kicking off our list at number 10 is The Walking Dead. Daryl Dixon? The saying, if Daryl dies, we riot was something many fans of The Walking Dead used. It means they really didn't want the character Daryl Dixon, played by Norman Reedus, to die. And luckily, the show listened to the fans and kept Daryl alive throughout its 11 seasons. Now Daryl has his own spin-off show. In this new show called The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, the story takes place in the future, at the same time as another show called The Walking Dead, Dead City. Daryl, who used to call himself a redneck but is now really good at tracking and killing walkers, wakes up in France and nobody knows why. Fans who watched Walking Dead, World Beyond know that France has important answers about how the virus started and why some walkers are really fast. We don't know all the details about the story yet, but this show brings Daryl closer to maybe figuring out how the zombie nightmare began and perhaps finding a way to cure it. I wanted to Coming in at number nine, we have The Morning Show season three. The Morning Show by Apple. Make its return in September with its third season, promising more gripping TV drama centered around newsroom conflicts. Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, and Billy Crudup continue to lead the cast in this series that delves into the inner workings of a fictional morning program. In season three, Apple hints at a storyline where the future of the network faces uncertainty and loyalties are tested when a prominent tech mogul takes an interest in Yuba, the network depicted in the show. Joining the ensemble is John Hamm, known for his role in Mad Men, portraying the tech titan. Fans can breathe a sigh of relief, knowing that the show won't suddenly disappear as the morning show has already secured a renewal for its fourth season. Refreshing to get stabbed in the stomach instead of the back, so thanks. Sliding into the eighth spot is Virgin River season five. Virgin River, a popular Netflix series based on Robin Carr's novels, is gearing up for its fifth season, set to premiere on September 7, following a slight delay due to industry strikes. It's a shining example of the genre that thrives on drama in small town settings, much like Fargo and Stranger Things. The trailer hints at a dramatic season with a destructive wildfire. The beloved ensemble cast returns, and season five picks up right after the season four finale. The show's beloved ensemble cast remains largely intact and season five will pick up right after the events of the season four finale. With many unanswered questions from the previous season, fans are eager for answers, such as Preacher's romantic choices and Charmaine's deceptive secret. This season will consist of 12 episodes, with 10 releasing in the fall and two holiday specials in November. Netflix has also renewed the show for a sixth season, highlighting its enduring appeal. Virgin River. <laughs> of gods and goddesses. Athena, goddess of what's the list up to now? War, over-the-top outfits, and daddy issues. At number seven, we have Crapapoculus. Dan Harmon, the co-creator of Rick and Morty, is set to launch a new animated series in September called Crapopolis. This comedy is set in ancient Greece and revolves around a dysfunctional family of humans, gods and monsters attempting to govern one of the world's earliest cities without causing chaos. Harmon is the brains behind the show, and it boasts voices from Richard Ayoade, Matt Berry, and Hannah Waddingham. Remarkably, Fox has already committed to three seasons of Crapopolis even before the first episode hits the screen. The best they can. There's a guy collecting pig feces over your shoulder. They call it agriculture. Pack your books. Hello, yes. Hello. Moving on to number six, the other black girl, Hula's new thriller, The Other Black Girl, is based on Zakia Dalila Harris's best-selling novel. The story revolves around Nella, an editorial assistant at a publishing house, who initially welcomes the arrival of another black woman, Hazel, to the company. However, as Hazel begins to climb the corporate ladder, Nella starts to uncover sinister secrets within the company. 
Zakia Dalila Harris, a former editorial assistant at NOP Doubleday, wrote the novel that gained significant attention in 2021, selling for over $1 million at auction. Rashida Jones is an executive producer of the adaptation. You were bold. In the fifth position, we have The Changeling. The Changeling is an upcoming horror fantasy television series created by Kelly Marcel and directed by Melina Mitsukas based on the novel of the same name by Victor Lavalle for Apple TVD. The series is expected to premiere on September 8, 2023, with the first three episodes featuring Lakeith Stanfield in the lead role. This show is described as a fairy tale for grown-ups and is based on Victor Lavalle's 2017 fantasy horror novel. Annapurna Pictures acquired the rights to the novel in August 2017 with the intention to turn it into a television series. In August 2021, Apple TV greenlight the series, with Kelly Marcel writing the series and serving as showrunner. Stanfield's character embarks on a daring journey through an unknown New York City after his wife mysteriously vanishes shortly after the birth of their child. Both the book's author and Lakeith Stanfield are executive producers with Kelly Marcel, co-creator of Terra Nova, serving as the showrunner. But you will. Coming in at number four is The Continental from the world of John Wick. Fans of the John Wick franchise are in for a treat with the new series, The Continental from the world of John Wick, which offers everything they desire, except for the presence of John Wick himself. This action-packed series marks the transition of the franchise to television and is part of the same cinematic universe. However, Keanu Reeves' iconic character won't be making an appearance here. Instead, The Continental serves as a prequel. Set in the 1970s, focusing on a young Winston, originally portrayed by Ian McShane in the movies but played by Colin Waddell in the series. The show not only explores Winston's backstory, but also delves into the origins of the chain of hotels for assassins, known as the Continental, a prominent feature in the movies. Additionally, Mel Gibson takes on the role of the head of the New York Continental. It's worth noting that the Continental is a concise event series, comprising just three episodes, keeping the storytelling focused and intense. More than vengeance, this is justice. Can you dig it? Being a hero is not about glory. Our bronze medal goes to Gen V. The Boys is making a return, this time in the form of a spin-off series. This superhero satire has given birth to a new show set within the same world, revolving around a college designed for young superheroes under the management of Vought International. The series delves into the training of the initial generation of superheroes, teaching them about Compound V, the serum granting them their powers. Gen V will be an exhilarating series you can watch when it debuts on Prime Video on September 29. It follows these students as they test their physical and ethical limits while competing for the prestigious top rank at the school. To make matters worse, a deeper, darker, sinister secret running through the university will test their consciences, finally making them out to be heroes or villains. Everything is... <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Otis Milburn. I'm new here. I'm In the runner-up position at number two is Sex Education Season 4. Sex Education, the popular Netflix series, is set to release its fourth and final season on September 21, 2023. The show, known for its unique blend of comedy, drama, and coming-of-age themes, has received critical acclaim and even won the Best Comedy Series Award in 2022. Season 3 was filled with dramatic twists, including potential school closure and character developments. In Season 4, O.T.'s Milburn, played by Asa Butterfield, aims to rejuvenate his sex therapy clinic with unconventional methods but comically attributes his expertise to his mother. Epi images from the upcoming season reveal exciting developments, such as Maeve's journey in the United States and the introduction of new characters and settings. The season will follow Otis and Eric as they navigate Cavendish Sixth Form College, offering humor, personal growth, and fresh adventures. Despite cast departures after season three causing uncertainty about the show's future, it has been officially confirmed that season four will be the series finale, 
ensuring a satisfying conclusion for fans. And finally, taking the coveted top spot is The Wheel of Time Season 2. The high fantasy series The Wheel of Time, based on Robert Jordan's novel, is coming back for its second season and it's already secured a renewal for a third season. The initial season debuted in November 2021, and although it wasn't a flawless adaptation, it found favor with viewers who hadn't read the books. While it might not reach the heights of the Lord of the Rings movies, many consider it one of the top fantasy TV series to emerge in recent times. The story is set in Andor, where Moraine, played by Rosamund Pike, is a member of a powerful group of women who can channel the One Power. She embarks on a quest to find five young villagers, believing that one of them is the reincarnation of the dragon, a mighty being that once reshaped the world. If this creature has indeed returned, it possesses the potential to either save or shatter the world once more. The first season of The Wheel of Time received acclaim for its captivating storytelling and impressive visuals, making it a must-watch series. You can catch it on Amazon Prime Video.